Welcome back. And Alex has taken a, a leave of absence for the day, the Lithuanian lover. And uh, so we're going to throw to an interview with the Colts, and it'll be the Wintersea coach, Paul Benson, and the Belmont captain, Sam Vandermark. Here they go. We've seen some blockbusters in Division 3 Colts, and we expect another one today at the Winter Reserve. Sam, acting captain of Belmont, tell us how's the side been going the last couple of months? I understand you haven't had seen a win recently. Yep. Yeah, well, we're um, really improving as a team as a whole. Um, yeah, so throughout the year, we've been uh, trying to work hard training and that just to uh, improve our game, working as a team and playing as one. Yep. Yeah. Acting captain, I believe, today. Tell us, when did you hear? Thursday. Cogsy came up to me, he's a great man. Came up to me and told me, uh, yeah, I'd be um, having an interview with an acting captain. So, all yeah, right. it's honour. All right, but the honour should be also on the field, and that's what it's all about. That's it. Belmont showed a lot of improvement in the seniors. Tell us, have the Colts been working with Dave McKernan's side? Yeah, yeah, we've uh, really been trying to improve. Um, as the seniors have been going really well, we've uh, been trying to follow their lead. Um, yeah, so with the coaches Chucky and uh, Brody, and as uh, Brody is the captain of the seniors, we've uh, really, uh, yeah, just been getting a lot from him. All right, well, we wish Belmont Lions best of luck. We also wish, wish Winchelsea the best of luck, and Coach Paul Benson, I believe, great grading period. Not a lot's happened since then. Yeah, um, it's just been unfortunate. We've had quite a few injuries this year. Um, and, you know, we, we've experienced, um, well, we've given guys experience in senior footy, which is one great thing. Four guys playing in our cult side have all played over six games of senior football. So, um, you know, that's one positive. The other negative is because they're not playing, they're out of our team, you know, and we've probably got, you know, a good eight to ten players not playing today through injury and through playing senior footy. So, um, you know... It's a stepping stone, I guess. You know, we come from Division Four last year, come up to Division Three, um, and next year we'll be hoping to improve that even more. Second year we've had under 18s at Winch for quite a few years, so mm. you know, it's just all about improving and getting the local kids, you know, involved in the club and the and the game. So uh, that's sort of what we've been working on this year. Yep. What do you tell your players when they're at the bottom of the ladder, two games to go? What's what are those extra things to motivate them, given there are those injuries? Yeah, definitely. Well. Today, all we've spoken about is just going out and enjoying these last two games. We know we'll probably finish bottom of the ladder. Um, that's no big deal. We're not emphasising on having a win today. It'd be great if we did. Um, I'm sure the guys would love to sing the song. It's been a while since we have. But, you know, just going out and enjoying the footy today. It's a great day for footy today. We're playing against another team who's, you know, down there, down there with us and we're expecting a great contest between the two teams. So. Right. You've summed it up well, Paul. So congratulations to both of your clubs for fielding an under-18 side. To the boys at the desk, it's back to you now. We've got a very special guest on the show this morning. We've already introduced him, but he's a 600-game player for the Winter Sea Blues. I can't believe anybody can play 600 games. But Trevor Wilson, welcome, mate, and uh, what an incredible effort. Thank you very much. Now, mate, I've got some stats on you, and I've got a little bit of, bit of research. Your football highlights. Your first senior game was in 1978. Yes, that's correct, yes. I was only 28 years old, then. That's unbelievable. Against Anglesey, the highlight was the 1987 senior flag. Best player you've ever seen, Alan Woodman? Alan Woodman, yes, yeah. And what, the dirtiest player you've ever seen, or the best player you've no, ever seen? No, he, nice no, player. No, when, he was, when she was good, he didn't show any of that. Five senior grand finals, yes. one flag, two reserve grand finals, one flag, reserves league best and fairest at 34. What was that about 30 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> reserves league best goal, goal kicking award 40 years ago. Interleague player in 1987. Plays with two of your sons now. That's the highlight, as far as I'm concerned. Apparently, two of your boys play alongside you at the moment for Winchester. Is that right? Uh, yes, uh, the oldest boy plays in the reserves, the youngest one plays in the seniors, but he's uh, coming back today to play in the reserves with us today, so yeah, which will be good. You can get loose on a little bit of confidential information for a Mitch asked you a question. Yeah. Won't go any further. How old are you? Um, 55, yeah. 55, you're still running around playing footy. That's sensational, oh, isn't it? That's fantastic. You only retired last year. That's 60. it, 62. Uh, listen, Trevor, I'd be, I'm, I'm a bit surprised. Why didn't they put you up in the seniors instead of having, bringing your young bloke back to play with you? You should have put the, all the boys, all the Wilsons in the seniors, mate. You're, it's not as if you're setting the house on fire. I'm sure you'd be able to kick a goal or two up there. Hey, what's the go there? Yeah, no. I'm struggling to get a kick in the reserves at the moment, so I don't think I'd get one in the seniors. So, yeah. You'd get one, mate. Don't worry about that. Mate, 600 games, it's a great effort. Super um, effort. How many good ones? 
599. There you go. Yeah. Now, a little bit of information did come to hand, actually. You were actually playing at Winchelsea one of our, when one of our uh, esteemed colleagues was playing out there. What was Fano like? Could he play or not? Um, when he came to Winch, he was probably past it. And, uh, but he was a good... He certainly showed a fair bit. He was a, a good skills and that, so he was a good footballer. Well, the rumours, he came out, took all your money, never got a kick and nicked off. That's <laughs> yeah, I wasn't in the, on the committee at that stage, so I don't know about the money side. Oh, he got plenty, oh, Trevor, don't worry. Go. He got plenty, he got plenty. He and bought a new BMW out of that uh, trip out there to winch, don't worry about that. Probably taking my match <laughs> Right. And is it true when you played against East Geelong that uh, you lined up against Neville Whitley as well in 1938 Grand Final? Is that true? <laughs> Was that an old wives' tale, that one? No, nah, that's an old wives' tale, that one. Mate, where did, you, where did you start your footy before you went to Winch? We always been there. Um, as a junior, I actually played one year at Matawari when I was nine. I started at nine and then we moved to Winchelsea and I uh, have played there ever since. So, yeah. I've only played a couple of games up in Queensland when I lived up there for a bit, but yeah, mostly at Winch. So. It's a fantastic effort, really? uh, Trevor, absolutely fantastic effort. For anyone to play, you know, that number of games, just to be able to get out of bed of a Sunday morning and then front up again Tuesday night and, and things like that. How is the body feeling at your age now? No disrespect intended. No, um, I, I hurt my knee a bit earlier in the, this year, so I've struggled with a sore knee this year, but other than that, other years it's been pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still get out of bed or on a Sunday Yeah, point. good on you. Yeah. Is retirement on the horizon, uh, Trev? Or? No, yes, definitely this is the last game today. And, yeah. Did you say that last year, though, was going to um, be the last season? Uh, I believe I've said it about three or four times. <laughs> yeah, no, today, definitely, yeah, I, it's a special thing to make it to 600, and yep. that'll be it for me. Fantastic. Trev, I don't care what anyone says. 600 games yeah. at the top level of sport is a fantastic event, mate. And you are a great example, not only to uh, your kids, but everyone in footy as well. So, fantastic, mate. Congratulations, and thanks very much for coming in for the interview this morning. But I'd like you to stick around and give us a bit of a preview of the matches on this afternoon. That'd be fine. I'll get a bit of sense out of it. just might too. <laughs> Trevor Wilson, uh, the 600-game veteran footballer from the Winchester Blues. We're going to take a break and come back and talk about all the action on the last underway round this afternoon. We are the Navy Blues. We are the old, dark Navy Blues.